Hi guys, welcome back to Crypto Eddie. How are you doing guys? Are you doing good? Excellent. Okay, in today's video, I'm going to do an update on Souls, the unfettered ecosystem, and TIN, the IN token. So, Souls is a gaming platform with very promising games being developed, and TIN is a unique gameplay that's attracted considerable attention recently, seeing it almost 10x in market cap in about 10 days. Now, this was first shared with my community through my VIP Telegram chat. So if you want to get into projects early, there's details in the description below. It's only $25 a month if you pay by crypto. So you're going to get that money back really fast. <laughs> okay, so Tin and Souls. We're going to look at where we are market cap wise and X multiplier potential wise. And I'll be calming some nerves in relation to the recent hack of Sol's staking pool. I see this as a buying opportunity, actually. Now, these projects still have huge upside potential. People who bought Tin and Sol's early in my VIP chat could do a 500x on both these projects. Sol's still has that X multiplier potential, and Tin is still a tiny gem, less than 1 million market cap. So. Imagine where that could go to market cap and X potential wise in the upcoming bull run. OK, first, let me update you on Souls. OK, full name of the project is Unfettered Souls. Sounds cool, yeah? <laughs> well, it is. I did a video on this project about five days ago and I invested into the project, as many of you watching this video may have done so yourselves. And what happened? Well, Souls staking pool suffered a hack. And as you could have predicted, panic emerged. <laughs> but anyone who knows crypto has, has seen this all before. OK, and you will see it again in the upcoming bull runs. So is a staking pool hack a problem? Well, short term, yes, it brings a bit of instability to the project, a little bit of fear, uh, uncertainty and doubt, FUD. But it's not real. OK, um, so short term, there could be a little bit of a blip in the price, but if it's a strong project with a good set of legs, you could be confident this is a temporary setback for the price and the project going forward. And in fact, the negative price is actually a fantastic opportunity to get in at a lower price. I mean, what was it that, you know, that old geezer, uh, Warren Buffet from, what's it, Berkshire Hathaway said, you know, when people are fearful, get greedy, okay? When they're greedy, get fearful. OK, now I'm not a big fan of Warren. You know, he's not into crypto, is he? OK, and so he's just a little bit too old school for me. But he was right about that. You know, when people are fearful, get greedy. It's a signal to buy, not panic sell. OK, so let's just go back to CoinGecko and look at the basic stats on Souls and see what's been happening with the price. Then we'll go back to their Twitter X to see how they've responded to this staking pool hack. And, you know, if you didn't see my earlier video on Souls, you can see it if you go to my channel. Just look at the list of videos. OK, um, I contrast um, Souls with Beam and also Immutable X. So those projects, you're probably going to get about a 5 to 10 X out at best because they're shielded by Alex Becker. But Souls and Tin, you could be getting hundreds of X's, even if you're getting in later than some of my VIP Telegram chat members did. OK, so here I am on CoinGecko and we can see here Unfettered Ecosystem is now trading at 0.005. So that's half a cent. OK, and the market cap is only four million dollars. OK. Now, this project is still a strong project. It's still going. And, you know, this temporary hack problem with the staking pool, it's a massive opportunity, you know. And we can see what's happened to the price here. I'm, I'm going to go through it. So fully diluted, it's about 14 million. OK, quite a difference. But only about half of that will come out, depending on when you decide to exit when you're getting out of this project and you're putting your money back into USDT. If you decide to do that, maybe you think it's a good project going forward and you want to keep it, you know. So the 24 hour trading volume is down significantly. It's just 168,000. Now, remember, 
when people are fearful, get greedy. You know, that trading volume tells me people are worried at the moment, okay? Um, there's the circulating supply and the total supply. You know, you can see there from the fully diluted valuation that there's only a certain proportion of the, of the tokens out and it will suffer dilution. I, I would think that, you know, let's say you did a 200x on the unfettered ecosystem, then it could get diluted, you know, by half. So you might only be doing 100x. Ooh, only 100x. <laughs> okay, so let's have a look at the chart, what's been happening. So this is a fairly new project. So it started in about May, June 2023. Okay, that's when it went on to CoinGecko. And you can see that, you know, the price has gone from 0 0.004 to, you know, 0 0.005. So because of this hack, you've got a great chance of getting in really cheap on this project. I mean, let's just look at the all time low now. OK, so it's done. Well, it says here that, you know, the all time low is 0 0.00037. OK, that's because the DEX was showing an artificial price after the hack, you know. So, you know, if you went on to quick swap, it showed that you could buy at a certain price, but you couldn't because the team took out the liquidity and they told everybody, don't buy it on the decks. OK, so that's what's happened. So that's not true that. OK, and we're almost at the all time low now. OK, all time low is here, isn't it? Look, zero, zero, one, zero. OK, and right now, so it's done about probably a five X. OK. Now, look at this. <laughs> it says here that it's just shot up 1,161%. Now, that's a 10x or 11x. If I saw that, I would never buy a project like this. But when you know the reason, it's like, ah, oh, but why has it done that? Yeah, that's because of the DEX trading and that's being recorded on Coin uh, CoinGecko. Okay, let's look at it. Okay, we know it's a very young project. The good thing about that means that the team haven't got their tokens, okay? It takes a year for the team to get their tokens because they're on a cliff and then they've got 24 months vesting. That means the team, you know, they've probably got nothing to do with the hack. They're fixing the hack, but the team have got a lot invested in this project. They've not even got their tokens, so they will be working very hard to make sure that this project is a success. They don't want it to fail. Otherwise, all their hard work's for nothing, you know. So, you know, when you look at all the information, you can kind of work out this project's going nowhere. You know, the team is sticking around. They're going to fix this, you know. I mean, like I said, you know, I see it as a buying opportunity. So it says here, the unfettered ecosystem solves stake and reward pool was attacked and the team are working on a new contract for migration. Liquidity has been removed from the decks, as I, as I said, yeah and trading remains available on the central exchanges. However, deposits and withdrawals are suspended. Why do they do that? Well, they do that, you know, to stop people getting wrecked. So, you know, I know somebody who put a lot of money in this, you know, a lot, a lot more than I did. And, you know, if you're not an experienced crypto investor, if you don't know what happens when this sort of situation happens, then, you know, you might think, oh, well, how much have I got? You know, I put, let's say you like, oh, I put 10 grand in and it's down to three grand. I better get the three grand out because I might lose everything. OK, you know, I don't think that's going to happen now. Just look at it. You know, let's let's look at what's happened, you know, over. OK, I'm taking it from here. Yeah. OK, so if we look at souls over the last month, OK, I could put it on the seven days even, but you, you can see here. You know, the price action was just sort of like, you know, petering along here, you know, and then uh, a little bit of a spike there. And then I think that's probably because I gave a buy alert on it. You know, I haven't got a lot of followers. I don't have a big influence on uh, price, really. But I mean, it went from on CoinGecko. I will have a look at it on Mexi Global. It's a bit more accurate, but you can see here it went from 008 and went up to what uh, about zero, zero okay it went for about eight to eleven actually you know that's about 25 30 percent isn't it 25 percent you know so you know quite a good leg up there and then we got the hack and look what happened look so imagine 
if you were that person with 10 grand and you, you saw it down there and you went, well, it's gone, you know, I better sell everything now. You sell everything and look, it's coming back now, yeah? So, you know, that's why they put a freeze on deposits and withdrawals, okay? If they were really sneaky, they'd say, well, you can deposit, but you can't withdraw, you know? I mean, that would be kind of unfair, yeah? Okay, so let's see what they've said on their announcement on Twitter. So the unfettered ecosystem, our action plan during the recent attack will continue to be conveyed to you transparently through this process update to ensure the continuity of possible attacks by the aggressor and to prevent the emergence of any unforeseen security vulnerabilities during this process or in the event of the occurrence, we will issue and deploy a new contract. So to stop the attacker doing it again, they just issue a new contract, okay? Upon deployment, users will migrate their tokens on a one-to-one -one basis, okay? So, you know, if you had one sales uh, token before, you get one, you know, when they sort it out. This means that souls currently held in wallets on the on-chain will be exchanged for new souls, okay? So if you've got your souls in a wallet and, you know, you transferred it off an exchange, okay, it will be exchanged for new souls that, you know, the new token. We're also in communication with centralized exchanges. They will identify and inform us of the balances held by users in their wallets. So probably a lot of you have still got, you know, your souls on Mexi Global and I think Gate.io also you could buy it. Then we will relay this information to the exchanges for them to credit the wallets accordingly. Due to the liquidity being locked in DEX for 12 months, Okay, we were unable to withdraw liquidity in the event of a potential new attack. Sorry, we're unable to withdraw liquidity in the event of a potential new attack. As a precaution, we're sharing a new wallet with you and have transferred souls tokens to these wallets. We will be withdrawing liquidity from the DEX through these wallets. This liquidity will be transferred as liquidity in DEX for new contracts. So when they roll out the new contracts, okay, when the new token comes out, then they will put the liquidity back into the DEX. This process will be shared with you transparently, step by step. For users who've already staked their tokens, we will implement a separate migration process. After receiving their rewards at the end of the staking period, they can easily carry out the migration process and exchange their tokens for new souls at a one-to-one -one ratio. Note that the rights of founders pass NFT holders will be protected. So, you know, if you've got one of those Founders Pass NFTs, uh, which you could buy through the website, then, you know, that will be protected too. Okay, important. So this is very important. Trading remains active on central exchange platforms, Mexi, Global and Gate. So <laughs> there's your buying opportunity. You can buy this now while it's cheap. The token's going to come out. Uh, I expect to see an increase in the, in the price action. Okay. Like I said, it's only a 4 million market cap now. Sol's trading continues on central exchanges. You can carry out uh, your trade transactions since deposits and withdrawals are closed. When the new truck contract comes into effect, you will receive tokens equal to the amount of Sol's in your account. Okay, so, you know, like I said, they freeze the deposits and withdrawals because they don't want the project to uh, bomb because people are panic selling. So. In a way, you know, you might say, oh, I don't like it that they're stopping me from withdrawing my tokens. Well, they're just kind of like trying to protect investors as well as themselves because, you know, without the investors, they're going to fail. OK, so they know that. That's why they don't want you withdrawing your tokens because you've already lost money after the hack. And if you take your tokens out, then you're probably going to lose maybe 70, 50 percent or something, you know, whatever. OK. Um, the exact amount of souls in your wallet during snapshot will be migrated. This is about the DEX, yeah? This snapshot only af um, affects on-chain users. Users of central uh, platforms, Mexi and Gate, are not affected as we have suspended deposit and withdrawal operations. They will receive the exact amount of souls in their wallet when the new contract becomes active. Okay, they're just kind of repeating themselves a bit, yeah? When new contracts are published, exchanges will activate a new contract that does not disrupt trade. In DEX trading, uh, 
will be started again in the current uh, sex price, adding liquidity, the liquidity transfer to the above. Okay, it's getting a bit boring here, guys. I think you get the idea, yeah? Uh, anything else here? The last transaction in which we made a liquidity withdrawal is here. So they're fully transparent, okay? They're showing you here where they made the withdrawal themselves, not to be confused with the hack. Transactions made after this block will not be included in the snapshot. Please do not buy or sell your souls on DEX during this process because, you know, you're going to get a t you're not going to get the snapshot, are you? So it's like if you buy it after the snapshot, they're going to say, well, you know, we already informed everybody. You know, there was a notice on CoinGecko and our Twitter account. You know, we made it clear that, you know, if you buy it after this snapshot, then we're not going to give you one to one. So, you know, you don't do that. And I would be surprised if you could find the liquidity on the decks, you know. We're aware that the responsibility here belongs to us. When we switch to a new contract, 150 million of the 300 million team tokens will be burned and this process will be shared transparently. Okay, so team tokens are being reduced by 50%. That can only be good for, you know, the, the project itself. I mean, I think they're trying to give you a bit of confidence here that the team are fully committed. Like I said, they still haven't even got their tokens, you know. So, you know, I, I, I think the team here are being very transparent, very responsible. We have not incurred any losses that impact our operations. We will continue to enhance our products and safeguard the interests of our community. Thank you for your understanding and support. Okay, so you can see, guys, that the team are being as responsible as they can. They're very transparent and they've also sacrificed half of their tokens. Now, if you're watching this video and you, you're unaware of souls in the past, if you didn't see my earlier video when I contrasted it with Beam and Illuvium, I mean, just compare the market caps. You know, you, you can see that souls is 4 million market cap, uh, Beam is about 2 billion and Illuvium is 4.5 billion. And we haven't even seen the Bitcoin halving yet when prices tend to go up, you know. So, I mean, how high can Illuvium go at 4.5 billion? Well, the biggest project in the last bull run was Axie Infinity. It went to about 12 billion. That's a 3x for Illuvium. I, I don't see it doing much more than that. Okay, it might do a 5x. And yeah, we might get something crazy in the upcoming bull run. It might even do an 8 to 10x. Wow, you know. And the same with Beam. I mean, Beam, doesn't even have a team, okay? So if you're invested in Beam, maybe you want to go to their website and try and find the team. Such a big project and no one will show their face. Very suspicious, okay? And it's already 2 billion market cap. Now, if Souls could somehow get to a few billion, which is not impossible when you get the hype of gaming in the upcoming bull run, you know, it's not difficult for a project to get to 2, two to 3 billion then, you know, this could actually do something like, you know, an 800 to 1000 X, but you're going to get about 50% dilution. It's possible that you get like a four to 500 X on, on souls. Okay. Now, if you haven't seen the project before, just let me show you the website a little bit. So you can see that, you know, this team have created a really beautiful website. It's got this kind of medieval feel to it. The unfettered. Yeah. You know, you can see it looks a little bit gory, um, you know, like there's some kind of like battle going on. OK, now I'm going to show you in a moment just a little bit of video footage so that you can get an idea of what the you know, what the main game is about. They've got a couple of games out already, and I believe that they they're planning to bring out more games in the future as a gaming platform. At the moment, it looks like it's just a couple of games, but they do have the capacity to actually put more games on here. So they're a gaming platform, just like all the other gaming platforms. They're looking at bringing out more projects and showing you that, you know, that the unfettered is not just one game. It's an ecosystem. Okay. So here you can see it says about us. Okay. And then, you know, if you scroll down here about us, what do you see very quickly, which you don't see on the beam website, you see the team. Okay. The people who are developing this project. So, you know, if you go to any of them, you can see they're all on LinkedIn and all their titles are there. You know, you can go on LinkedIn. You can look these people up. 
I've looked up a couple of them, you know, just on, on Google, and you can see that there's quite a lot of entries there. It's an experienced team, and seems seems like they know what they're doing because, you know, this website looks pretty impressive, doesn't it? Let's just go back to home for a second. Fast website as well, yeah? So here, this is what something, something else I like, is that they have the tokenomics here on the top bar. They've got their roadmap tell, telling you where they want to go with this, and then there's all their socials. So very organized, very easy to navigate website, okay? And here, they've got also a sidebar. You can go into, click any of these, Solverse, News, Games, Souls, NFTs, okay, investors, partnerships. Okay, you can see there, investors, Animoco Brands is one of the investors. And if we come down, we can see that they've got three audits and one of them is Certic. So this is an incredible project, if you ask me, okay? There's the partnerships, okay? I don't wanna, I'm not gonna go into too much detail here. And you know, if you come down here and you click on Hyperplay, that will bring you to the official trailer and you can have a, a sneak peek at the game, okay? So you can see here, public demo launch trailer. It's only a few minutes. I'll, I'll play this for you so you can, you can get an idea what the game's about. I'd floated silently through the universe as an entity belonging to both the sky and the sea in days of yore. I must confess there was nothing like ruling the upper and lower world. But now I say the same thing about Rebirth. So you can see now that medieval feel to it, yeah. Chosenness with all their might. And you might have noticed that the, the hero is a female, which I think is pretty cool, you know, so they understand the cultural um, changes that have taken place in the world recently, where, you know, it's not just men who are considered strong people, also women are considered strong people too. Okay, so you can download and play the public demo on Steam, okay. Okay, and just a little bit more footage from another trailer that they did. Alpha gameplay teaser, this is. I think the graphics look really good, yeah. I don't know what you guys think, you know. Drop me a comment below, let me know, let me know what you think, you know. Does, do you think that Souls has a good chance of um, being successful in the upcoming ball run? I think so. I think it's got something different that other games are not offering, you know. I mean, a lot of games now, they're just shooter games, you know. But this one's a bit different, you know, it's like um, face-to-face -face combat, you know, using a sword rather than just blowing people away. Okay, so I'm just looking at the tokenomics now, you know, if you've not seen this before. So percentage of allocation, ecosystem 4%, advisor 6%, airdrop 7%, treasury 4%, staking and farming 12.5%, advisors get 6.25%. Funny that, isn't it? They got advisors and then advisor. I'm not sure what that, why that's, you know, got two advisor uh, slices of the cake, but obviously this is a different advisor from other advisors, yeah? Okay, airdrop, 6%, liquidity, 10%. Team, so the team get 12.5% and their tokens have been reduced by half. So, uh, well, they've not been reduced by half, but they're going to burn them tokens, yeah? Now, marketing gets 12.5%, so that's probably going to come out, you know, during the progression of the actual project. And pre-sale here, as you can see, was quite a big slice, yeah? 
that's 25 percent the pre-sale so most of it has gone to the community you know in the pre-sale um, and the vesting on the pre-sale is variable okay would be nice to to have that a little bit more transparent but you know i think that some people don't get their tokens early because they got it at a lower price um, marketing three months cliff 24 months linear vesting so marketing has still got you know about 18 months linear vesting staking and farming is 18 months quarterly so it sounds like every 18 months you get quarterly um, rewards for staking and farming okay team 12 months cliff there you go 24 months linear vesting so they've not got their tokens yet they're still committed to the project therefore you know liquidity um, obviously that's all all released at the token generating event and treasury which is nearly 10 percent this is decided by a DAO. okay so you know what they spend it on and when they spend that when they release them tokens is decided by the DAO. and advisor okay so got nothing these got nothing at token generating event and this advisor here okay so you know got six and a half just under six and a half percent has got a 12 months cliff and 20 months 24 months linear vesting so this advisor still hasn't got his or her tokens so you know probably someone who's got quite a lot of input into the project still hasn't got the tokens so there's a lot of the team and the people close to the project who are obviously got a very strong motivation to see this project succeed airdrop eight months cliff 12 months linear vesting that eight month cliff is just about up now that's going to be a 12 months linear vesting that's six and a half percent ecosystem says here optional okay it's only four percent not sure what they mean by optional but obviously you know it means that it doesn't come out all at once it didn't come out at a token generating event you know and obviously you know whether you get you know maybe a hundred x or a 200 x out of this project depends on when you take your profits you know so you know this is really just a guide you know like i said you know i think this project can possibly 500 x okay um because it could go to a few billion if it becomes more successful and probably the dilution would be about half so you might get a four or five hundred x on this but you know what if you only got a hundred or two hundred x or fifty or seventy five x i mean put your hand up if you wouldn't be happy because i would you know okay so i did say to you guys that i would show you the price action on mexi global so you can see exactly what's been happening on the exchange so you can see here okay so at 0 0.0083 this is when my VIP Telegram chat guys got the call uh, when I did the buy alert and they started to buy it. Um, and then you can see it started to, you know, get a little bit of resistance at about when it did about 25%. Okay, it did actually go up to 0 0.011. So that, that was over 25% increase there. And then you can see something happened here. Okay. Now, I think that was the start of the hack there. And then you can see here that, you know, people thought, ah, buy the dip. So they did. And then you saw the dump, you know, really go crazy here. And it actually came down, you can see here, to 0 0.0034. So, you know, the team have been very responsible by locking uh, withdrawals from the central exchange because imagine if you would have taken your money out here at 0 0.0033 it would have been a disaster for you i mean look now it's gone back up to 0 0.0057 they're going to issue the new token and probably everything will be hunky-dory again now you know you've seen the website if you like this project i'm just saying to you at four million market cap this is a fantastic buying opportunity okay i'm going to move on now to tin because i haven't really mentioned tin today i will be featuring tin later this week because i believe they've got some updates they've had a few press releases 
And I think tin is a really interesting project. So we're again looking at the chart in Mexi Global. You can see exactly you know, how this project has developed on the central exchange since you know, I called it as a buy alert in my VIP Telegram chat group. So you know, I first called this when it was here. You know, I didn't get it right at the bottom. I mean, you know, uh, you could have got it for 0.014, you know. Uh, you could have got it for 0.012 here, okay. That was on the 8th of the 2nd of this year, 8th of February. You know, so you, you get some people in uh, VIP Telegram chat groups and they're going, look, we got it right at the bottom. Manipulation, you know. Um, if you're getting something at the right at the bottom, okay, and you're doing it consistently, doing something dodgy probably, you know, because, you know, remember what the Rothschild um, family said, I think it was Nathan Rothschild, he said, you know, when I get into investments, he said, I never get in right at the bottom, and I never get out right at the top, but some YouTubers can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, you know, I, I saw this, and I thought, you know, it looks good, you know, the little, little tiny pump there. We got in about, I don't know, 0 0.0, just under two cents, yeah? And you can see the price action, it's been so healthy, yeah? It actually went up to, I think it went up to 18, 19, you know? It did about a 9x, okay? Um, so it's not far off a 10x, I think, you know, here, went back up to seven, to, okay. We've had a little bit of a retracement, but, you know, you can see that, people are very interested in this token and you know you have to wonder why well i'll show you why if you look at it on coin gecko you can see that the market cap <laughs> the market cap is still less than 1 million dollars okay it's not even 3 quarters of a million dollars it's only 716,224 dollars okay fully diluted it's 13 million so that's quite a lot of dilution, okay? Again, maybe, maybe half of that will come out, but you can see from here, you know, with a market cap of under 1 million, I mean, what a gaming project's gonna go to in the bull run? It's not gonna be difficult for a good game to get to a billion market cap, okay? Now, if this one just went to, I mean, just do the maths yourself. Let's say it's, let's say it's 7 million, okay? Fully diluted, so. 70 million, 700 million, there's 100x there, easy. Even if you get out a bit late because there's been a lot of dilution, okay? But I mean, a project can easily go to 700 million um, in the bull run when the gaming narrative explodes. So if you've not got into tin yet, maybe it's one that you wanna have a look at because it looks like it's got really strong price action and it looks like there's a lot of interest in this project especially, you know, if you've not got in yet because the price is so cheap. Like I said, guys, I will be doing an update on tin later this week. I don't want to just tag on tin to the end of this video because I've been focused mainly on the unfettered souls ecosystem. Okay, guys, that's all I've got for you in this video. So uh, if you could, please give me a like to help the uh, algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and ring the bell for all notifications so that you know when I'm dropping new videos. Right, so for me, it's time for another cup of me tea. <sighs> thanks for watching, thanks for listening. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.